Hello students, today we will continue lesson number 10. Okay, now this is on page number 51. Today we will learn about direct and indirect objects of a sentence. So let us first see the definition of direct object and indirect object. A direct object is a person, animal or thing that is directly affected by the action of the verb. Okay, an indirect object usually refers to a person, animal or thing and an action is done for or to. So, this was the definition. Now, let us see here. Uh, we have discussed object of the verb in the beginning of the chapter. There are two different types of objects. Direct objects and indirect objects. So, there are two types of objects. That is direct objects and indirect objects. Okay. Now, read the given sentences. The dog chewed the slippers. Now, if you ask the question, what did the dog chew? It's chewed slippers. So, slippers is what? Direct object. Understood? Next, Sana is visiting her grandparents. Whom she is going to visit? Grandparents. So, grandparents is direct object. Now, next. He is playing the violin. What is playing? Violin. So, violin is what? Direct objects. Did you complete your homework? So, here it is asked about homework. So, homework is direct object. Have you all understood? Now, let's see here. In the above sentences, the words in italics are direct objects. So, words are given in italics. Sleeper, grandparents, violin, homework. So, these all are direct objects. Now, let us see next. Now, read the sentence below. Shyam sent his mother a brown package from Switzerland. So, now, Sham is what? Sham is subject. Okay. Send. Send is what? A verb. Isn't it? Sham is subject. Send is verb. Now, if you ask a question. What did Sham send? He sent a brown package. So, this is direct object. Is it clear? A brown package is direct object. Now, to whom is sending his mother? So, his mother is indirect object. Have you all understood? Now, if you ask a question, what did Sham send? He sent a brown package. So, a brown package is direct object. And to whom he has sent? To his mother. So, his mother is indirect object. So, let us analyze the sentence. Sham is the subject. So, Sham is the subject. Send is the verb. So, send is the verb. Now, to determine the direct object, ask yourself the question. Send what? So, what was sent? A brown package. So, a brown package is direct object. Understood? Now, next. The answer is a brown package. Hence, a brown package is the direct object. Then, to determine the indirect object, ask who received the direct object. So, who received it? His mother. The answer is his mother. Hence, his mother is the indirect object. So, I hope you have understood till here. Now, let us see next. Some more examples are given. Now, read the sentences below. I bought bangles for my sister. So, if you ask, what you have brought? Bangles. Okay. So, bangles is what here? Direct 
object and for whom you have brought my sister so my sister is in direct object is it clear now i read the newspaper to my grandfather now what you read newspaper so it is direct object now for whom you read my grandfather so this is in direct object we gave a map to the tourist what do you give a map so a map is direct object and to whom you gave the tourist so this is in direct object in the above sentence the words in italics are the direct objects and the underlined words are indirect objects so i hope you have understood what is direct objects and indirect objects okay so now let us see the exercise exercise number 3 it's on page number 51 in the following sentence underline the direct objects and circle the indirect objects okay so let us see first one my brother hit the ball with the racket so what did your brother hit the ball so what do you have to do underline direct object you will underline so the ball is direct object now with what did he did like this with the racket so now you have to circle circle the indirect object so with the racket you will circle is it clear understood now second one we ran a ration shop okay so what did you ran a ration shop so a ration shop is direct object now here in this sentence there is not given indirect object only it is said that we ran a ran shop ration shop okay next my friend sold his car now what did your friend sold his car so his car is direct object now here it is not given to whom he has sold so only direct object is given in this sentence is it clear now next fourth the singer sang a song for us now what did the singer sang song okay so song is direct object for whom he sang for us so us you have to circle because it is a indirect object understood next my mother swept the floor today morning so what did your mother do she swept what she swept floor so floor is direct object now here there is no indirect object in this sentence okay sixth one the bear saw a man what did the bear saw man so man is a direct object so you have to underline direct object next the teacher taught the students computer what did the teacher taught teacher taught computer so computer is direct object and to whom she taught students so students is indirect object and you have to circle indirect object okay now last one the shopkeeper kept the counter clean what did the shopkeeper kept clean the counter so counter is what here it is indirect object understood i hope you have understood direct object and indirect object okay thank you